Welcome back, family. You on Facebook, make sure you hit that follow button. You on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Your bell on, all that, so you always be notified when I drop this hot content. Mr. Yak, we got to talk, Mr. Yak. What that short for, kayak? Because <laughs> you swimming in a pool full of shit right now. Hey, look, Yak, you a rat, bro. It ain't <laughs> I don't even understand or see how this is a debate. It's no debate. You a rat. You told. You a rat, right? Now, look, when you was out here standing on the cars and all that, I knew then. <laughs> I said, I said, this dude ain't got it all. You feel me? While you out there doing it, you so busy and worried about getting the pictures standing on Lucci Khan and all that, that you ain't even see the feds taking pictures of you doing that. Now, this is my question, Yak. How you always get caught by the police? You always getting caught by the investigators. If you ain't gave a statement, they got a picture of you doing something. You ain't good at this, Yak. No, you ain't good at all. You would have had to be the YSL member. i will be like, you know what? You got to stay at home. Hey, y'all remember when 50 Cent told G Unit them? They, they got a, the ones that was acting crazy and all that. Back in there, you tell hey, y'all off the road. Y'all got to go home. Because they ain't know how to act. That's what, that's what should have happened to you, Yak. Now, like I said, you a rat. And it's the reason why you a rat. So we finna get into that right now. I'm finna show everybody why you a rat. And shout out to Seti Nash. Seti Nash, the first one I seen pointed out. Him and AK, they went in depth to it. I don't even know how they knew or pulled it up or whatever. But the new indictment. They knew Rico charges. Yak Gotti's statement from 2015 is in it. And they using it today. And this is why YSL Duke locked up. Yak, you are right. But let's get into it. Okay. So now, Yak Gotti responded and he said, 2015, my brother never did a day in jail because I claim my, I did four years with the Fed with no tears. Stop the cap. Okay, yeah, we ain't talking about that. We not denying that. We know you. Oh, we know you told. Oh, yeah, we know you claimed it. But, yeah, this is what you said. We didn't skip all that, right? Well, let me start at the top because everybody don't know. On October 1st, 2015, Kendricks, his passenger, Martinez Antoine Arnold, fled a traffic stop and engaged in a short high-speed chase that ended after Kendricks ran a stop sign, lost control of the vehicle, hit a guardrail. The police apprehended the man after they attempted to flee on foot. Upon searching the vehicle, the office discovered a small amount of marijuana as well as a pistol and a semi-automatic rifle, both loaded. Later, investigation revealed that both firearms were stolen. In subsequent interviews with police, Kendricks admitted he owned the rifle and that he lent it to Arnold. Translation, Yak Gotti admitted he owned the rifle and that he gave it to Duke, who planned to use it that night to retaliate against a rival gang who beat him up. <laughs> How's that not snitching? And I just said you told on YSL Duke. But not only that, you told, oh, you said a rival gang that had beat him up. You saying Duke out here getting beat up. Not Mr. Who that in that crown vicar looks suspicious. Not him. He out here getting beat up. You give him the gun. Y'all get caught. You crash the car. Get caught with the guns. Then you, then you tell him that the gun is yours, but you gave it to Duke because Duke had got beat up and y'all and y'all was going to retaliate. Kendricks also told the police that the pistol was his and described the unrelated incident. You tell him, tell him. <coughs> you in there talking about stuff they ain't even asked you about. You tell him, tell him. What you tell him, tell him for? Yeah. See, you a rat. Now, 
This just off the what happened in 2015. Fast forward to where we at now. 2022. Check this out. Um, Defendant Martinez Arnold and DeMonte Kendrick, associates of YSL, did commit the felony offense of participation in criminal street gang activity when associated with a criminal street gang to with YSL to participate in criminal street gang activity through the commission of at least one of the offenses. Now, look at the top. Defendants Martinez Arnold and DeMonte Kendricks, associates of YSL, you see what I'm saying? Of another human in retaliation for a prior shooting by the rival while armed with an AK-47 and a 40 caliber handgun violation of Georgia law. It's right there. The date on it says 2015. 2015. You got Duke in trouble. You got Duke in trouble because Duke got beat up. That's. Oh, my God. I thought it was just Lucci snitching. Y'all snitching too. It's fun. You and you know what you know what killed me about this whole situation? How rappers always talk about the feds and the police and all this and that, like they so stupid. And y'all get in here and get the run of y'all mouth like this? Oh my god. Yeah, Yak, you a rat. Now this dude say a lot of talk about how Yak got he snitch is not quite that simple. He pled guilty when he and YSL Duke were caught with rifles a few years ago. They were on the way to retaliation hit after a fight at Magic City. If pleading guilty is snitching, that's a high standard. Alright, well let me tell you something, Mr. George. Let me explain to you exactly why Yak Gotti snitched and why he will always be a rat. Not only did he tell the police that he gave the gun to do that's one you snitch right there that's one two dope got beat up by a rival game what whatever another game do to you is supposed to be between you and that game not the police that's two that's two just that quick he done snitched two times already he done told two times already just that quick now him taking ownership of his pistol okay that's cool he said it was his that's cool but at the same time you snitching on yourself, nigga. That's three times. He done told him. What, he done, the man done told about four or five times in one statement. So I don't even know why this being debated or argued about. That man is a rat. Prosecutors say Yak Gotti told him he gave the Duke a gun to retaliate against a rival gang in 2015. The statement is being used against Le Duke in his Rico case. This is why Duke locked up. Lock, come on, man. Come on, man. Your words, your writing, your telling is why Duke locked up. What, people, what, what is that a debate? I don't even see the debate. You're right. Yak Gotti just ain't smart. Remember, I told y'all when he did when he did this, they was out there taking pictures of him, but he's so busy taking pictures on Luchi Khan, he don't see the fans taking pictures of him. They was right on the scene. What are we talking about? Yeah, God, he just ain't smart. Now, I don't know if y'all heard like I heard, but yesterday, and I'm going to say allegedly till it come out officially. I'm going to say allegedly. Also, they put out yesterday. When he called in the no jumper, now I ain't watched the episode, so I don't know what he said. But they said that that call, he made the no jumper while his girl was there and all that was done on another fed cell phone that they smuggled in the gate. Dude, please tell me you weren't on no cell phone talking to no jumper from that cell, bro. Please tell me you didn't do that. Because, like I said, I ain't watch it. So I don't know what he said. But it really don't matter. If the feds get... <coughs> First of all, why are y'all using these cell phones 
thinking that somebody helping y'all and they just giving y'all cell phones. What did hard indictment say? The feds gave y'all the cell phones to use and they tapped. Man, listen, I'm through with it. Y'all can have it. Y'all can say what y'all want, man. At the end of the day, this man is a Chuck E. Cheese. He's a certified rat. He's a certified 6 9 And if it's true about that cell phone, he even more cooked. It's your boy, Buddha, man. Get in the comment section. I'm out.